All right, Brock the Howa. 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 His thought pattern, and Yahweh Shai, that's his beloved son who he have given his uh, his creation to, who the world uh, alien called Jesus Christ. That's his beloved son who we worship and praise and honor and give glory to every day. Right. You know, that keep us motivated, keep us going. Revealed unto us his secrets, his understanding, and uh, it showed us what the end time prophecies is, man. All praise to Yahweh Shai, the Bible said, Apostle of the Great Millstone. Who, who, who through time, the process of time, Yahweh Shema Shai is showing who he's dealing with. And for sure, it's the apostles of Great Millstone, who's not being brought up on charges, all right? Who's, who's out there throughout the winter, you know what I mean? And then it's not holding nothing back in, in the scriptures. That's right. No matter what it be. That's right. Like the, they, they, had a, um, they had a series called The Nastiness of the Scriptures. They didn't hold that back because, oh, rape is in the scriptures or... It, it speaks on the rape in the scriptures or, or or the craziness that this society would deem, you know, somebody like a psychopath. The apostles touch on it all, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the scriptures say eat the whole roll. Eat the whole roll. Yeah. And, and, and don't, you know, I don't want to be lied to. I want to know what the truth is. You know, because the scriptures said that you should know the truth and the truth should set you free. Yeah. That's how you're going to become free and understanding what the hell you're dealing with, man. Because nobody had a nobody had a choice to be to, to to be born on this planet Earth. You didn't have no choice. You was brought down here, and you facing what the Heavenly Father wants you to face is being on this planet Earth. You know what I mean? So it's double on to the apostles for showing us the right way, for enduring to the end, and, and sticking in the door and just showing what the deal is, and peace and mercy to the election out there. You know, through the Spirit of the Lord, man. You know, it's, everything is hot. You know. Everything is hot. Everything is going on. You got World War III going crazy. You got the RFID chip being being shown rapidly through movies, through articles. A man out here in Los Angeles, the brother Kazak over there in um, Mississippi brought out that this dude got secretly chipped on a microchip and it was controlling his thought patterns. Mm, yeah, yeah. And, and it's crazy because I, through the Spirit of Shemel Shah, I've been bringing that out for the longest. <laughs> You can go on my page right now. You go on GMS Shield of Faith, Shield of, uh, Faith page right now, showing how they've been experimenting with the RFID chip since the '60s. They had an experiment with a bull, and they had an experiment with a cat. Uh, cat, when they were sending electrodes to the brain, and it was uh, causing the bull and the cat to follow whatever the, the damn devil white man typed in on the computer. Man, they doing it with roaches. They're doing it with roaches, man. You know? So through the Spirit of the Lord. And then you got, oh, this nigga Comfy. Comfy getting brought up on charges of 5.3 million taken from the people, man. You know? Shit is it's, it's all out just crazy right now, man. And it's, it's thankful to Yahweh Hashem Shai because, remember, as long as this kingdom is standing, we cannot rise. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go into current current events, just just flow through the spirit of Yahweh Shemar Shai, spiritual talk, current events, what's going on as of right now, man. Let's go, bro. Who got the Peters? Let's go. Read it loud, bro. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Right. It says, but there were false prophets among also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. So now you got guys who are trying to destroy what? Yahweh Shemel Shai has built for over these years, man. You know? Now that the 12 tribe chart is fake. Yeah. But hold on real quick. The 12 tribe chart is what woke us up. That's right. That's right. When we sin, when we came to, under the, to knowledge, we looked at the chart and seen if we was on it. Yeah, right. You know? And we was like, oh shit, I'm from this tribe. Yeah. I'm from that tribe. Yeah, and it, it makes perfect sense. Make when you it. do the research and you look it up, on how Judah was in captivity, right? You know how they fled from uh, uh, persecution. persecution, persecution from the Romans, right? You know what I'm saying? It, you know, all the tribes. Ephraim is a fruitful bow. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Issachar, he's hired. He is a hired. He is hired. You know, 
come on, it, it makes perfect sense, man. Yep. Spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Heavenly Father, man. Yep. So yeah. that's that's why we not read it again, not from the top. It says, but there were also false prophets also among the people. There was false prophets amongst us, man. Each generation you read throughout the scriptures, the scriptures say the things written the fourth time are written for your learning, for our learning. It was always false prophets amongst us. So seeing them niggas over there in Chicago acting like acting like the Chirac niggas that uh East that Esau turned these that turned these niggas. Hey, it's not it's not it's not something far fetched. The scriptures pinpointed. Drop your precept, Bob. This is uh Second Peter chapter one verse sixteen. It says, For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. That the election is not gonna be fooled by anything that go on on this planet. Not one thing. You know, you got the election out there, you could bring a motherfucking million dollar briefcase to them. They're not gonna take it, man. Remember the scriptures say I have reserved 7,000 men who have not bowed their knee to Baal. You got men out there that's, that they hold their integrity above everything, man. The integrity they have towards the Al-Bashim al the creator of the heavens and the earth, man. You know what I mean? Let's go out. It says, For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Oh, listen to this scripture in this context as well. And then incorporate it to today. Read it again, now. Nah. It says, For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. This is written by Peter. He said, Look, man, when he was on the scene 2,000 years ago, he was telling the churches, Look, we ain't followed cunningly devised fables. We ain't, we ain't follow some fairy tale crap. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Doc. Huh? It says, when we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. When they when they understood, they walked with Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. They knew what Yahweh Shai revealed unto them what the deal was. They showed it on to the church, man. Yeah. Go ahead, Doc. Huh? Yep. But were eyewitnesses of His Majesty. But actually, I a eyewitness mean that you was there in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Your eyeballs. The coloring that's in your eyeballs took place upon the Lord. Hey, hey, Peter said his coloring in his eyeball seen the Lord. He was eyewitness of what the Lord had to say and what to bring. Right. And he ain't bring no cunningly devised fables like uh, the Negro Latino Native American man is, is the uh, is not the Israelites. He didn't bring that. You know. Yeah. Let's go back, bro. Back in Second Peter two Whenever and one. You, uh, jump in. Uh, it says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. So you understand that a false teachers is going to be amongst us. Yeah. Pray to y'all about Shemel Shai that it don't jump upon you, you know. So ITR, this nigga Comfy that's getting cracked for 5.3 million, and the rest of these niggas out there that's coming with their crap, the scripture said that that was going to occur. Let's go, out. Privily shall bring in damnable heresies, mm -hmm. even denying the Lord that brought them. Yep. It said privily. Niggas yeah. having their little secret councils amongst each other. Yeah. You know? Yep. Hey, yeah, go ahead. I, yeah, that word heresy is basically meaning another doctrine, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That that uh the the, the pure other than the pure doctrine that the Lord brought, you're right. gonna have guys bringing in another uh, another doctrine amongst us, man. Yep, you know? yep. And hey man, look, man, man. The apostles of Great Millstone is where it's at. I'm not saying that because uh, because of some 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 folly. I'm saying that because I believe in y'all, Bashim Shai, man. That's right. That's right. And, and if it's in any way, they got the way. Yeah. They got it. You know. Hey, look, we, we look been, Satan already hate. Hey, we've been growing through the spirit. But a big help has been through the apostles, man. Yeah, because they've been breaking down the the, the parables of uh, the heavenly Father, man. Yep. The deep, uh, dark sayings of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. Yep. And we've been getting fed throughout the years since we came in from who? Through men, yep. through the apostles, man. That's right, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we still getting fed, man. We still getting fed, but now they didn't built us up so much that we feed other men, man. Yep. Now we're able to feed other men because we have to share with other people. That's what's wrong with these niggas uh, over here yep. in the ITR camp, they call themselves. Fry, die, and lay to the side. <laughs> the 
nigga, the niggas got built up by the apostles too. Yeah, yeah. nigga. Nigga, you was building right along with us once upon a time. Yeah. Now you get later on in this year, this nigga, these nigga, you know, the apostles gave us all the breakdowns. Yeah. They gave us all of it, bro. All of it, bro. Now the niggas think they something. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. that's dishonorable as hell, man. Yeah. That's the type of niggas like, you know, man, get this nigga out of our circle, man. Because he's around our generation, man. He grew up with us. You know? Yeah. Man, well, man, man, forget dudes like that, man. Yeah. Let's go, bro. Uh, it says, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And that's all that's coming for them is swift destruction. Yeah. The motherfucker don't understand now because a nigga can get up and go to work. Nigga could get up and smoke a blunt like Chase Davis. Yeah. You know, that nigga face y'all love. You know? <laughs> th th that's why the nigga don't. That's what the scripture say up in um, Ecclesiastes 8 and, uh, what's it, 8 and 11? Yeah. Because swift judgment is not uh, yeah, executed speed, speed, speedily. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, the, the hearts of men is set to do wickedness. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. back then you did some wickedness, you got jacked up ASAP. Quick. But now the most high is like, okay, mark this nigga yeah. down. Yeah. And remember, the scripture says it's going to be like a day never before. Yeah. So, to come in that you, that in your past lives when you was being wicked, it's going to top that. Let's go, I, I got a quick one. Drop it. This is uh, Galatians chapter 1, verse 6. It says, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of your house shine into another gospel. Look at that right there. Paul was like, man, I'm really like, I'm astonished. You need to be thunderstruck. I marvel. I'm astonished. You know when the thunder hit, you like, oh, you pause. Like, it's like I'm thunderstruck that your ass is so soon removed. It ain't even been a damn decade yet, man. It ain't even been a, a decade for certain for 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 a lot of niggas, man. And you already through. You know? Yeah, you lost, you lost the faith, man. You just, you, <laughs> hey, like, you know, you laid to the side, man. You dry. <laughs> you, you know? You laid to the them, side. Them demons is back on you, and, and you off into the world again. You yeah. know? When you was in the truth, you was going hard, but it only lasted for a quick moment until your oil dried out. You know, yeah. like an engine. Once, your, once the engine, oh, yeah. the oil of the engine gone, man, the engine is, is through. The, yeah. the yeah, car, it, it stopped. You know, that the, the head gaskets. You know, it gets overheated and just, it freezes on you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's what's what's up with you niggas, man. Yeah. You niggas just, you just came to a halt. Just, you, <laughs> you niggas is stuck, man. Hey. You know, now them demons is is, is on you, man. Mm -hmm. Now you ain't got the spirit of your heart by Shimmy Shai on you. Now them demons is taking you wherever, man. You yeah. you believe in everything. The wind blowing you. Oh, shit, that's it. Yeah. That's the truth. So you just know? one one nigga, the scriptures say, uh, let every word be established between uh two witnesses. Mm -hmm. One nigga come out talking about King Masha said this. Nigga, where your witnesses at? Otherwise, nigga, shut your motherfucking mouth and let the Lord uh make the moves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you ain't got no witness to what you saying, shut the hell up. The Lord is gonna deal with it. But see, the Lord ain't gonna deal with that situation because the chart is on point. That's right. Let's yeah, go. If, it, if, it, if your chart wasn't on point for all this time since since uh, uh, High Priest Aria right. had broke it down, it from the time he broke it down to the time now, it's been years, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What a, uh, Acts 5 and uh, uh, 38. 38. Right. If this was of man, it would come to naught. Right. right. But it's not of man. So that's why the, the, the chart still stands. Still that's stands. why we still go Whoa. go by it. Mm. That's why when the brothers come up, they look at it and they could vibe with it. Their spirit like, oh, damn, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the first things the brothers look at when they come up to the camp. Yeah. They look at the chart. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that chart is very important, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's the stick, man. That's yeah. the stick. That's the... And, and, well, let me drop this real quick. Yeah. In Second Andrews chapter one verse thirty-seven, I take to I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness, the people to come, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. Mm. This thing is about 
it's spiritual. Yes. Faith, so, man. so the people that you do see out there uh, in the spirit of Yah Bashim Shai pushing, whether it be niggas who got 75% truth or 100% truth or not, it's Negro, Latinos, and Native American men. That's it. You don't got no Edomites or any other nation out there showing you that that tribe, that tribe chart is on point. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It shows you that. 100. 100. Let's go, bro. Back in uh, Galatians 1 Woo! and 6. Real quick, go to Baruch chapter, um, is it 3? When they say they should remember themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah let's yeah. read that. Let's yeah. read that real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how do you explain this scripture right here? You know? Uh, you, it's somewhere up here. Whoever grabbed it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I, this is... Yeah, this is... Okay, go ahead. This is uh, Baruch chapter 2, verse 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stick -neck, stick stiff-necked people. Right? Like, uh, uh, Tazadakia, mm -hmm. ITR, and the rest of these guys. Go ahead. Yep. But in the land of their captivities... They shall remember themselves. We're going to remember ourselves. Yeah, man. So that's why you got a brother that come up. He from the tribe of Ephraim. Mm -hmm. And he see, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Puerto Rican. I'm from the tribe of Ephraim. And he read about the prophecies on Ephraim. He understand why the hell he's, he act like that in his life. Mm -hmm. You know? It's the car. Why he so want to work all the damn time. Yeah, man. And we got a camp full of Instacarites. That's right, man. And we got, we, well, hey, that brother Araya died, man. We call that brother Bob the Builder and shit. Because that brother, you know, through the spirit of the Lord, that brother just, that's Issachar's spirit, he always want to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He feel frustrated if he ain't work, he'll tell you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But in their captivities, we was going to remember ourselves. Yeah. Yep. You got niggas basically saying, uh, okay, the tribal chart is off, but they won't tell you who's, okay, well, what's the tribal chart then? Yeah. You know, come up with your own breakdown there, man. The niggas yeah. the is trying to quote that we don't know. We got we got we got diversity of brothers out here, like the uh, like the, the tribe of Zebulon, the the their, their um the Zebulon meaning my dwelling, Zabalawan. Man, Zebulon ass. You think Judah is slow? Zebulon is slow. Man, they hey, <laughs> you'll be waiting you'll be waiting a whole hour for a brother. <laughs> <laughs> ask the ask the brothers out here. We got a, we got a full of Zebulon Zebulonites. May not every case for every Zebulon night, but majority of the Zebulon nights in our camp, we waiting like, like we gotta man, we gotta man, put man. an extra fucking thirty minutes on everything we do because yeah. this brother's dwelling. Dwelling, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Let's go. Right? Come, you want me to finish on this? Oh uh, yeah, finish a little bit, then let's jump back. It says, "It shall know that I am the Lord, their power. Yeah. For I will give them an, give them an heart and ears to hear." Yep. yep, that's right. The Most High gave us the understanding. The heart and the ears, meaning the understanding. To hear. Let's go out. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. We start all the lessons. Brakti hao, brakti hao shai. Let's go out. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Woo! And we got the name of the Lord. That was it? Awesome. awesome. Go ahead. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the ways of their fathers, which have sinned before the Lord. Mm, look at that. We, we remember that. We ain't trying to be like, uh, we ain't trying to be like fucking Judas. We ain't trying to be like the niggas that fucked up, man. We trying to do this thing right by the by by you know? Yeah, how you gonna do it right is, is you, you gotta be in the spirit, man. Yeah. You gotta know what's real and what ain't, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, you know, when when wisdom going out of you, when it have, the spirit is going out of you, you don't know what is right. <laughs> so know. then you start yeah. second guessing shit. Mm -hmm. Damn, is the chart real? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is the earth round? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you flat thing. earth niggas, man. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. The Lord ain't forgot about you niggas <laughs> neither, yeah, man. man. You fall off flat earth. You can fill off the flat earth, man, yeah. if there's a yeah. flat earth. And all yeah. three of them niggas that was in our camp, Long gone. gone. We don't know what the fuck these niggas is doing. Niggas Channel is dried gone. out, man. Channel is gone. The, brother, the brothers that did see these niggas, niggas' beards is gone. You know? Niggas was wearing uh the, the attire of the world. They're wearing the things that niggas wear in the world. 
skinny fucking shorts. Yeah. Get the fuck up out of here, man. Five o'clock shadows and shit. Five o'clock shadows and shit. You know? Yeah, bro. Hey, that's what happens. That's what happens when the Heavenly Father take your spirit from you, man. You 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 be a bug out. But yeah. in the truth, you was the Heavenly Father was blessing you with, you know, brothers was looking up to you, man. Yep, yep. Brothers been looking up to you like, damn, this brother, okay, damn. Yeah. Shit, that, the Lord working with that brother, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Now look at you and shit. I'm scared. Yeah, yeah man, especially our, our second in command. He was, that nigga James, he was the second in command of the camp. When he got kicked out, that was like, what the fuck is going that on? Was, that yeah. was surprising right there. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Come to find out this big giant head nigga. Was believing in some bullshit. Yeah. Now, with, his, yeah. with his punk ass, man. Now, now the nigga in the world. World following after a heathen woman. Mm -hmm. Worship, probably worshiping. <laughs> who knows? Probably Fucking worshiping worship her gods and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, got weak over the box, man. Yep, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Let's go back to the Peters, bro. Oh. And then uh, Daniel or whatever you got. This is back in 2 Peter 2 and 1. But there were. No, no, no. Start 2. Okay. Or verse, wherever you left off at. Uh, verse 2. It says, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Their pernicious ways, their own understanding. Mm -hmm. Nigga, a nigga come up with this, this like, the shit will actually, the shit won't just be a retarded ass uh, come up, you know, like a, a retarded um, reasoning. Mm -hmm. The shit will be tricky. The shit will be tricky. You know, spirit. a seducing spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh shit, that shit. The way he connecting it could make sense, yeah. but this it's off though. It's off. It's off. It said, and then they're gonna speak evil of the truth. What's the speaking of the twelve tribe chart is is saying that it's wrong. It's evil. Yeah. Let's go on. Right. Yep. It says, and through covetousness, they shall. Slack it. it says, and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you. Woo! It said through covetousness. Mm -hmm. The scriptures go to go to real quick. Go to Sirach chapter um Sirach chapter 10, where it said, There's nothing more wicked than a covetous man. Than a covetous man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nine. Verse nine? Ten and nine. Huh. Sirach ten and nine. It says, why is earth and ashes proud? Why why is somebody who got made by the Heavenly Father proud like he made himself? Go ahead. There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. And that's the that's the tenth. When you going through the tenth commandment, that's the always the one that's that's labeled as the tenth one. Covet not after thy neighbor's goods. Covet not, period. Mm -hmm. There's nothing nothing more evil than a man who's coveting another man. Why? Because the Heavenly Father, whatever your lot that you was delivered, the Heavenly Father gave you that. Whatever another man lot he was delivered, the Most High gave him that. Mm -hmm. That that man didn't have, no man got the choice of picking their own portion. Nobody. The Lord gave the portions out. Yeah. And he gives the increase. He gives the increase, right? Like yeah. you said. Yeah. So when you go into after a covenant after another man, you going off. You saying what the Lord gave you wasn't correct. Because any type of wickedness that you do, you have to understand that you're going against who? You ain't going against the dude you yeah. you 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 striving after. You're going against the Heavenly Father, yo. Yeah, you ain't trusting in the Lord, man. You ain't trusting in the Lord. Yeah. That's why it says not it's nothing more evil than a covetous man. Yeah. Go ahead, Doc. Back in Peter's. Uh, is, is that was it right there? Uh, it was a little more. Go ahead. It says. There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man, for such an one setteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. Woo! Mm. He, that's why a lot of these niggas sell out. Niggas so covetous, he willing to do anything to try to top this next man. So he go as far as the selling out. And then it says, cast away his own bowels, meaning his integrity, everything he learned, everything in his mind, he just throw it away. Yeah. Because yeah. when you read it, hey, go ahead, I say, uh, matter of fact, let me get it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, you talking about Judas? No. Oh, okay. No, okay. Let, me, let me get it real fast. This is, uh, yep. yeah, Drop it's a lot. It's a lot. No, no, hurry, hurry up and drop it. This is John 7. And 
third one of my favorite scriptures. Uh -huh. John 7 and 38. It right. says, He that believeth on me as a scripture has said, He that believeth on me as a scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Mm. So the rivers of living water is gone. 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 You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's, it, it's mm. no longer. No longer. Integrity gone. Understanding is gone. Now it's wisdom. Yeah. Everything is out the door. Yeah. Because this nigga, he want to prove himself right to another man. Yeah. <laughs> then wish I tell Paul, ain't it hard for you to, uh, to kick against the pricks? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what these, you know these niggas all day and night losing sleep because they trying to figure out how they could top, how they could top the apostles or some shit, man. Yeah, they, they, they want, uh, they want, uh, like their own vain glory. Vain glory. That's yeah. it. Yep. That's yep. it right there. They want their own vain glory. They want people to look at them like, damn, that dude, that dude deep right there. Yeah, he dude, got he, it, G. He, got, he, he better than elders. <laughs> That's it. He better than elders. Yeah, he coming out with some deep stuff I ain't heard the elders come out with. Man, you got niggas out there that say shit like that, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You niggas is weird, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. niggas is weird. Oh, he, I ain't never heard the apostle bring that out. Yeah. Man, nigga, shut up, yeah, man. Yeah, but ultimately that's Satan on you, man. Yeah. Ultimately, you never was in the truth. Yeah. You never did. You never was. You never was brother. You never, you never was in the truth, man. It was just a little... A thing like cross colors, man. It's right. just it's something you wear, and, and next thing you know, them shits fade out, man. Yeah. You just fade out, niggas, man. Yeah, so you are. You know? Yeah. Some fade outs, man. Yep. Yeah. 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 Let's go back out. <clears throat> back in Second Peter two, and uh, three, it says, "And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you." So then you see a nigga that like them niggas in ITR. Them niggas is fucking rowdy as fuck on the street. Then you see the nigga in the classroom. Everybody sit down, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you flip your page to page six. Mm -hmm. Man, you making fake words. The word fame means fake. Mm -hmm. To make merchandise of you. To make you part of their product. You know? Let's go, Art. Whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not. Oh, their judgment been lingering for a long time. Mm -hmm. But now it lingereth no more, yeah. man. Hey, this nigga Comfy just got busted. Let's read the article, Rock. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's read that real quick. Oh, oh, this nigga Comfy. God damn. This nigga judgment lingering for the longest. <laughs> this nigga been getting brought up on fucking charges. This goddamn school being invaded. Yeah. This nigga got a goddamn a damn uh, action figure doll. <laughs> Man, let's read that, Rock. It says, <clears throat> it says, hate group preacher, treasurer accused of embezzling. 5.3 million. Damn. That's the title. All right. It says, a Mercedes, a Mercedes van's trips to Disneyland and provided school tuition were some of the gifts Jermaine Grant lavished on his family. Hey, get that. Mm -hmm. the, nigga, the nigga stole from you dumbasses to give to his family. Driving a Mercedes, going to Disneyland, and paying his school, his, his children tuition in school. Go ahead, Doc. All obstinately paid for with income from his entertainment company. <laughs> Go ahead, I. In reality, the U.S. Attorney's Office has alleged all were ill-gotten gains of a scheme. Mm, a scheme. Go ahead. By Grant, 43, at Li in Lincoln, Wa in Lincoln, Warrington, 48, to si siphon millions from the Israelite Church of God in Jesus Christ. Mm, I J I G J C or some shit like that. But see, man, that's what you niggas get. Yeah. Because the real men of the Lord, we fucking struggling day by day. Yeah. Day by day. We we hold our integrity. We struggle day by day, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you niggas is supposed to support us, you supposed to support the apostles of Great Millstone and the, and the ones that's under him, under them. The real men of the Lord. But you niggas is giving your money to the wrong fucking people, you dumbasses. Cause money ain't money ain't our thing, but it's cool because Paul Paul explained when he was talking to the the Church of Corinth in the, the ninth chapter, he didn't want to be charged by none of you niggas, none of you niggas, for 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 the money situations, man. Cause you a nigga giving you money, a nigga a nigga well a nigga will use that against you, man. Yeah. <laughs> when you didn't do nothing but righteousness with it. Yeah. Yeah. 
So the Heavenly Father said, man, fuck you niggas money. Fuck everything you got to offer. I'm going to bring my leg through the fire by myself, man. And that's what we experiencing. We're getting brought through the fire as explained in Zechariah, man. We don't need none of you niggas money. We don't need none of that shit. We got the brotherhood that's sticking together, man. Yeah. And we're going to continue this. Well, hey, real quick, I, um, Sirach where it says, a man that's poor, uh, and then when he's rich, how much more in his, um, in his oh, poverty? Oh, okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, damn, I don't know. Oh, that's, it's right in the 10th chapter, Sirach 10. Yeah. Matter of fact, I read it, Sirach 10 and 9. It says, who will justify him that sinneth against his own soul? And who will honor him that dishonor his own life? The poor man is honored for his skill, and the rich man is honored for yeah. his riches. He that is honored in poverty, yeah, probably, how much more in riches? How much more in riches? And he that is dishonored in riches, how much more in poverty? So we over here in poverty, when we get the when we um and we and we get the little honor from those who do understand the brethren around us. When we get the when we actually get the riches, how much more are we gonna be on the next level? It ain't gonna be because you niggas <laughs> gave us the you niggas helped us out. It's gonna be because y'all by Shimei and Shai helped us out. Mm -hmm. And we stuck together dealing with this shit. Yeah. You got all these goddamn punk ass churches on every block giving money to these punk ass pastors who ain't teaching you nothing. nothing. Then you got the real man of the Lord fucking struggling to get to fucking work. Yeah. Struggling to get to work because they fucking cars breaking down. They can, you know, but the Lord got us though. Yeah. We struggling to get to work, but understand, we still got there though. Yeah. Meaning the Lord made a way. And the Lord gonna punish you niggas for that, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All you niggas give your money. I, I remember I sat in a car with, um, I sat in a car with my woman's mother and she went all the way down to LA to give her fucking church money. A fucking envelope full of money. And I'm sitting in the back seat, in the truth, like, what the fuck, man? We drove all the way to L.A., bro. Damn. But it ain't about <laughs> money, though, man. Nah. We didn't already, we already surpassed that, that, that mind frame, man. We, we on the spiritualness. That's why when we get in the kingdom and we become that government, we're going to rule with a rod of iron. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be righteous, man. And our people gonna be back in their right uh, mind frame anyway, man. Yeah. Let's go, Octo. I got some. Yep. I got go. some. This is a <clears throat> First Timothy six and ten. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Mm, we understand that <clears throat> the love of money is the root of all evil, man. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, "Fuck it, man. I'm gonna go through the struggle. Yeah. This shit ain't gonna last forever." Mm -hmm. Let's go, Octo. It says, "For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covet after." They have erred from the faith. Mm, covet. Oh, oh God. Covet. <laughs> Woo! Uh, so mm. you're through, you know, because you're following after money. You didn't forgot the path of the Heavenly Father, man. Yep. Yeah. You're on another path, the road to destruction. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't, you didn't <coughs> fail, you didn't fail off the, uh, the straight gate, man. Yep, yep. There's mm -hmm. no more straight gate. All you see is dollar signs. Now you just on a whole other road where it's just. You don't care how many lumps and holes in that motherfucker. You just like fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna get to that money. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's it's. Come on, man. You niggas is dried out, man. Yeah. You know, you didn't left the the road where it was just you was by the brook, man. You was you was getting fed. Okay, you was getting the right nourishment. Now, you didn't took a path where there's no more. What well, you dehydrated? Yeah. Okay, you dehydrated. Mm -hmm. You starving? Mm -hmm. Okay, you dried out. Uh, the Heavenly Father ain't ain't protecting you no more. There's, so there's no protection, mm -hmm. and you just off in the world, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, falling after money. Cause hey, man, you niggas is evil, man. Yeah. It yeah. says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some conveyed after they have erred from the faith mm -hmm. and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. That's this nigga from my G J C, wherever the hell you yeah. call it. This nigga Tazadaki has said he's the comforter that J that John 16 talk about. Mm. This nigga's retarded. This nigga tripping, man. That's this nigga, this nigga, nigga, you ain't your house shy, you, you fucking out of shape, fuck. Mm -hmm. Nigga fat as hell. Yeah, that's why King David, he prayed not to keep him, uh, 
you know that uh, Proverbs we said not to uh, have me too much high mm. or too low, yep. but in the middle. Because if I have too, if I'm too high Ooh. and I got all this hey. money, I'm gonna forget the Lord. That's that's Paul. I got you. Hey, that's Paul. Paul. That's, that's Proverbs. Paul. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, it's in Proverbs. It's in Proverbs. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe, maybe. Giving neither well, poverty keep... nor riches. Mm. Huh. Yeah, I'm a, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah if yeah, you yeah, can yeah. grab it. Yep. yep. That's, that's maybe Solomon if it's in Proverbs. I got you. Uh, yep. This is a. Uh, yeah, yeah, not yeah, so yeah like, not part, not part. It's uh, Solomon. Yeah, uh, the key. words of a girl, a a girl. Oh, okay, okay. Got it right. says yep, yep. this is Proverbs thirty and uh, eight. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. It yep. says, "Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Mm. Mm. Feed me with food convenient for me. Uh, mm. So give me just enough to make it through my day. Daily bread. You know, yep. sometimes make me struggle. Sometimes make me." To where I'm, I'm blessed, but keep me always in the middle. Middle. Yeah. Paul said, "I know how to be a base. I know how to be a bound. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know how to, I know how to have things, and how to, I know how to live without mm. uh, things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Without the things that I'm used to living with. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Or with uh, some kind of like comf comfort. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. Lord will take the comfort away from you, and He'll give you a little comfort. Paul know how to. He knew how to live with." With it and without it, man. Yep. But his his whole mindset when trying to get the riches because he knew he was stacking in the kingdom. He yep. knew his treasures was in heaven, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where you know, it really matters. Mm -hmm. What is really matter? Our treasures in heaven, man. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be blessed beyond our imagination. This is not our rest. So why in the hell you want to rest with the 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 the, the treasures of this world with moth and rust, rust death, corrupt, corrupt, man. You know, we on a higher level than that shit, man. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. why. Yeah, that's right. I, that's right. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. That's why it's it's, it's honor and respect to these brothers that's doing it right, man. Yeah. Whether you just came in or not, if you got that right mind frame, it's it's respect on to you, man. If you keep it to the end, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little more on that. Let's go. Right. Come. <clears throat> it says. It says, uh, verse nine. Least I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Or least I be poor and steal and, and take the name of my power in vain, man. Uh, you're good. I, oh, you're man. Good. Right. So there, there you go right there. Unless you be uh, too rich and forget about the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because if you got money, all you're thinking about is spending it. How am I going to do this? How am I going to pay this? You ain't thinking about shit else. You ain't thinking about the Lord or doing his work, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Or when you poor, you just thinking about robbing somebody, man. Yeah. You know that's it. That's <clears throat> it. Breaking the Heavenly Father's law. Yeah. You know? Robbing so, the next Jake. Yeah, man. So you got to be in the middle, man. Just, you know, food that's convenient for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's I right. I got right this there. scripture right here. Mm -hmm. I got it from you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is Proverbs 15 and uh, 16. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Uh, look at that right. Hey, read yeah. the next scripture down. Hey, hey. It says, better is a dinner of herbs where love <laughs> is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. Uh, mm. The same thing. Go ahead. I got something? No, hey. Yeah. You know. Hot. Hey, <laughs> man. Hey. Let's go, Rock. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 24. <clears throat> it says, by faith, Moses... When he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction mm. with the people of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Woo! And we know the scripture says that this world is temporal. Mm -hmm. We ain't trying to enjoy the, the pleasures of this world and the most high finna fucking destroy this place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like the brother uh coined over there in Las Vegas, the brother uh Karatazai, man. The brother used to be, that brother is still a part of our camp. Just branched out to Las Vegas, man. The brother said, why would you build a tree house in a tree that's getting fucking hacked down? Niggas is building a tree house in a tree, and you got some timber men at the bottom of the tree smacking their, their axe against the tree and smacking the damn tree down. But the nigga think he up there, yeah, got this tree house going. Nigga, your tree finna fall. Yeah. So yeah. Can. Dummy, <laughs> nigga up there go hard. Nigga installed a toilet system up in his treehouse. <laughs> you got nigga, you got then you got some fucking timberman at the bottom hacking your tree down. <laughs> That's the Heavenly Father. Yeah, yeah, dude over there, left rolling like it was. Yeah, yeah, he enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, Jake enjoyed this, man. Yeah, man, it's, hey, man, it's works. about that time, man. We finna get out of here. Let's go, let's go back to Peter's and then we're going to start circling.
Con. This is uh, back in Peter's, 2 Peter's chapter 2, verse 3. <clears throat> it says, And through covetousness they shall with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment of now a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Mm -hmm. For if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, mm. but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into the chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. See that right there? So, mm. Peter, was a, he goes back to like, look, these wicked ass niggas that I'm talking about, understand, if the Most High spared not the old world, but delivered us into fucking these bodies that we in. Yeah. He didn't spare us back then when we went off. He not going to spare these niggas that's going off now, man. Yeah. And he said, but he did save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Mm -hmm. and, and delivered those. What, what did it say? Delivered them to what? Uh, what it says? Just uh, read it over, To bro. damnation. Just yep. read it over, Yep, bro. yep, go ahead. It says, <clears throat> for if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into the chains of darkness. Yep. Which is this, these bodies. Yep, these yep. bodies. And we are them angels that fucked up in the beginning. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. To be reserved unto judgment. Okay, this is where you serve judgment. Mm -hmm. Right yep. here on earth. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And spared not the old world. Uh-huh. But... Yeah, the old world, the first death was by water. You yep. know what I'm saying? Noah and his, uh, his sons and his wives was the only one who survived. Yep. Yep. But save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he was a preacher, okay? One of the first, okay? Mm -hmm. that, that did it. You know, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And he, when he was preaching, the people didn't believe just like they don't believe now today, man. Yeah. Okay? And he was, hey, the Heavenly Father brought into the ark and, 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 and closed the doors on them niggas, man. Yep. And the same thing, Lord willing, we going, it's going to happen to us. To the Heavenly Father bring us in the chair, and, gonna, mm -hmm. and that's going to be it, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and only the elect, the one third is going to be beamed up in that day. Okay, yep, that's yep. going to become the new ark. Yep, that's right. Let's go with that. Yep. A preacher <clears throat> of righteousness bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Save the righteous man and destroy the ungodly. Same thing is going to happen to these false prophet ass niggas that's, that's coming up today, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And only the righteous is going to be saved. You know? Is yeah. that right there? Is that it? Uh, it's, it's a little more. Go ahead, right. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with the overthrow, making them an example unto those that after shall live ungodly, mm. and delivered just like, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Hey, you see hey, how it's, yeah. it's you got something? I was going to say, these are examples of the Heavenly Father de not, delivering yeah. the, righteous the righteous and destroying the wicked. wicked. Yeah. Oh, just for the sake yeah. of spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, For that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Mm. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation, and to preserve the unjust until the day of judgment. Yeah to be punished. Mm, that's it right there, right? Yeah, yeah. You see them examples the Heavenly Father gave? Yeah. It started off with the false niggas example. Mm -hmm. And then Peter went to give examples of what happened in the past. Mm -hmm. how, wicked, how righteous men was delivered and wicked niggas was destroyed. Mm -hmm. And then it left off and said, the Most High knows. He know how to deliver a righteous man yeah. and he knows how to destroy a wicked man. Yeah. Yeah. Playing it to the point. <laughs> hey, hey, unjust man. Unjust. Hey, this is Revelation 22 and 11. Yeah. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Uh. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Ooh. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Uh. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Ooh. So let it be, man. Let, let it, it be. be. <laughs> let it be. <laughs> That's it right there. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Hey. Hey, so we do Spitty Alba Shemel Shah, man. We just dealing with the, we dealing with it. Fuck it. Whatever comes your way, we in the ring, we catching the punches, and we rolling with them. Meaning that when you catch a punch, you roll with it, you decrease the, the impact. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So that you can continue to fight. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's right. We're going to see more crazy shit come out through the spit of y'all by Shemel Shai. Yeah, more niggas going to be just, more niggas is going to uh, come out the woodworks and, yeah. and, and 
show their true selves, man. Yep, yep, because yep. like uh, the apostles always say, it's a lot of niggas in GMS, man. Mm -hmm. yep, you know yep. what I'm saying? So a lot of a lot of these niggas gonna uh, crawl out the little gutters and, and show themselves, man. Yep, you know yep. what I'm saying? They gonna they gonna basically they gonna uh, go back to their vomit, you know, and they gonna show themselves who they truly was. They wasn't a brother, man. Because mm -hmm. you got a lot of cats they claiming they brothers, you know what I'm saying? And, and trying to be in a spotlight and show, you know, that they this and that. But it's all for themselves, man. Mm -hmm. It's not for the brotherhood. It's not, it's ultimately. You want you want you want to be you want to be like uh, the nigga that uh, what, what's that crumb snatching ass nigga five point three million uh, oh, oh uh, Tazadaki yeah, yeah. Jermaine Grant yeah Jermaine you know what I'm saying Jermaine. you want to be like Jermaine man <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> you want to be like Jermaine. Jermaine hey but hey the Lord gonna put your ass to death man following trying to get that uh trying to teach for uh, uh filthy, filthy lucre. lucre's sake yeah. Yep, yep. Hey, hey, I got yeah. a scripture. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, drop it. Drop this it. is uh, Matthew 6 and 24. <laughs> no man can serve two masters, mm. for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Uh. You cannot serve the heavenly father and mammon. Yeah, can't do, can't do both, man. Can't do both. You got to choose either or. Yeah. Hey, like they said, there's a thin line between love and hate. Yeah. There's a thin line thin line between righteousness and wickedness mm -hmm. you you once you cross that line you on either side yeah what side you on yeah you know that's real man so you know don't try to don't don't try to do no sicky shit like you know you coming to camp you you all brother then you you us and then at home you you fucking nigger <laughs> you, you know what i'm saying you doing some scandalous shit like like trying to trying to make it in the world, man. Yeah. Trying to make it in the world, uh, lying and taking money from brothers and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's some wicked shit, man. That's some wicked shit, man. If you if you taking, especially if you taking from your brothers, man. Oh, you taking other shit. You taking from your brother's plate, man. From your brother's pocket, man. To to mm. just to have it sit. Mm. Just to have it sit in your pocket and you ain't even really using it. Just mm. to say you got it and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some wicked shit. And that's what that crumb snatching ass nigga Jermaine's doing, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> hey, so through the spirit of Yabba Shemel Shai, just, just flowing in the spirit of the Lord. Trusting the Lord that he put his words in, uh, yeah. in our mouth, man. That's right. So with that, we're going to close it out. Say, Brak the Yahweh. 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 Peace and mercy to the elect. Ba'ashem ha'rakakwadash. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Shalom. Shalom.